When visitors come to the exhibition and they come to the end of the dining room before they go into the kitchen, they find something that rather surprises them. It's a beautiful decorative mosaic that was originally set into the floor of the dining room and it shows a skeleton looking towards us, grinning and for us it's very strange. We can't imagine putting a skeleton on our dining room floor. But for the Romans it was perfectly normal because the skeleton serves to remind us to seize the day. The Romans used to say carpe diem and it means enjoy the banquet because the banquet is the best thing about life. And the alternative is the skeleton. So enjoy it while you can. It's interesting when you see the skeleton mosaic you think well that must be unique, that must be a one-off. Well it isn't. The idea of the skeleton at the feast is really quite a, a common one for the Romans. They even had little silver models called larvae. Larva is the word for a skeleton or a ghost in Latin and these little larvae would be placed on the tables like table markers so your guests would really remember that they had to enjoy the feast because the skeleton reminds them of the alternative. Even in Roman Britain, just as in Italy, food and wine played a big part in the afterlife as well. And these tombstones made of traditional red sandstone, they're very British, show British people who died in about 150, 200 AD. But the interesting thing is they're all shown in exactly the same way that people are shown on the Etruscan tombstones from 500 years earlier, uh, 1200 miles away in Italy. And the reason is that the Romans acted as a cultural bridge, if you like. They brought these traditions and then they spread them all over the empire. And I'm standing next to the tombstone of a lovely lady called Curatia Dinizia. Her name is here. And she wanted to be seen after her death as a good Roman. So how does she show herself? She reclines on her couch with a glass of wine. And when people walked along and they saw her tombstone, they'd say her name, and that was very important. It gave her a little bit of immortality if you said the person's name. But most importantly, Curatia Denizia is shown as a real Roman woman, relaxing on her couch, just as if she was in a big banquet with all her friends and relatives, holding a cup of wine because that's what good Romans do.